In this video, let's take a look at the menu component from Material UI. Menus display a list of choices on temporary surfaces. Let's understand how to add a menu with an example. We're going to continue from where we left off in the previous video and add a resources menu to the navbar. To create a menu, we need two components. Menu and menu item. In the JSX, after the stack component, invoke the menu component. We're going to add an ID is equal to resources menu. Within the menu component, we add the menu item component. Let's add two items as resources. So menu item, the resource is blog. A second menu item, the resource is podcast. At this stage, we have our menu defined, but this menu is hidden by default. It will pop up when the user interacts with a button or other form control. For our example, let's open this menu on click of a resources button. So just before the login button, I'm going to add a resources button. On this button, we're going to add a couple of props. First, we add an ID equal to resources hyphen button. Next, we handle the click event on this button and set this as the anchor element for our menu. And this comprises of a few steps. Begin by importing use state at the top as we need to maintain a state variable. Import use state from React. Next, create a state variable that holds the anchor element. The state variable is going to be called anchor element. The setter function is called set anchor element and the initial value is null. The type though is going to be null or an HTML element. Next, we're going to assign this anchor element as the value to the anchor element prop on the menu component. So anchor element is equal to anchor element. Next, we define the onClick prop on the resources button and assign a handler called handle click. So onClick is equal to handle click. Let's define this function. Const handle click is going to be equal to an arrow function which receives the event as argument. So specify the event parameter, which is of type react.mouseEvent of type HTML button element. Within the function body, we call set anchor element passing in event.currentTarget. This will set the button element as the anchor element. Next, we're going to use the anchor element state variable to determine whether the menu component should be visible or hidden. So right after the state variable, create a new constant, const open. And this is going to be equal to boolean function passing in anchor element. So open will be set to true when you click on the button element. We're going to assign this constant value to the open prop on the menu component. So open is equal to open. We're also going to use this open flag to handle a few accessibility concerns. First, on the button component, ARIA controls, if open is true, we specify resources hyphen menu, which is the ID of our menu component. However, if this is false, we set undefined. 
Next, we said aria has pop-up is equal to true and aria expanded if it is open, true, else undefined. On the menu component, we add menu list props. This is an object where we specify aria labeled by the ID of the button, which is resources hyphen button. Finally, we are going to handle the on close event on the menu component. So on close is equal to handle close and let's define the function. Const handle close is an arrow function where we call set anchor element passing in null. This will hide the menu. At the moment, we don't have anything to do on click of these menu items. So let's call the handle close function and close the menu. On click is equal to handle close. If we now save the file and head to the browser, you can see the resources button. Click and we see the menu with two items and resources button as the anchor element. We have blog and podcast. If you click outside or click on one of the menu items, handle close gets invoked, the anchor element is set to null and the menu is hidden. Our menu component works as expected. Now one thing I would like to do is to ensure the resources button stands out as a menu. For that, at the top, I'm going to import an icon. And that is the keyboard arrow down icon. Now on the resources button, add end icon is equal to keyboard arrow down icon. Take a look at the browser. And this is much better. The last thing I would like to highlight is about positioning the menu component. At the moment, it opens to the bottom left of the button. Let's change this to bottom right. We will need to add two props. Anchor origin is equal to an object where we set vertical to bottom, horizontal to right, and we specify a second prop transform origin which is again an object where we set vertical to top and horizontal to right. If we now take a look at the browser, click on resources, the menu opens bottom right. Now positioning a menu item might seem confusing so let me point you to a good example in the material UI docs. Under components, Select the popover component under Utils. Here, scroll down and you get to play around with the different anchor position values and you can select what fits best for your scenario. This is where I come back to every single time I have to meddle with the position of the component. Alright then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.